All right. Let's get going. How are you doing? So what we got here is a deep integration of OPC into the Azure IoT suite. Great. Who are you? I'm Eric Barnstead. I work in the Azure IoT team. That's fabulous. Great. So uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm Clemens, and I'm uh, the cameraman here. Excellent. <laughs> So, so we have this fabulous, uh, fabulous part of the booth uh, in the Microsoft booth at uh, Hanover, Messe Hall 4 C40. So if you're at the show, you can come by. And, hall 7. Uh, hall, oh, sorry, yeah. It's hall 7 booth C40. C40. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we show here, and we have guided tours that are coming through. So let's, uh, let's see quickly what we got. So we need to go over here for a second. So what we have, like I, like I mentioned already, we integrated OPC UA, which is an industrial automation protocol, deeply into Azure IoT. What that means is you can take existing OPC devices, like all of these down here, and connect them easily, we say within five clicks, to the cloud. So what that means is those are the devices. We have something called the OPC Publisher, which translates the data into something Azure can understand. And um, we have the Cloud Gateway, which is all of this is in Azure. The Cloud Gateway understands that data and makes it available for all these services. So that's hot and cold path analytics, visualization, and we also actually have an OPC API in the cloud now. Mm -hmm. And what that lets you do, I'll tell you in a minute. But right now, I want to focus on the telemetry part that's going to the cloud. So the publisher can just connect to a server here, browse the OPC data available from the server, we select one, and we hit publish, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to do to make the data available in Azure. Then, over here, we have all the data that's already published. And as you can see, you can just display it, create graphs, do a dashboard for monitoring, all these kind of things. Down here, we have a stream analytics job, which monitors the current drawn from one of these devices. The device is actually over here. So this device. Real time system here. Yeah. So it's, it's a computer. When you turn this, with, uh, this consumer yeah. on, which just happens to be a hair dryer, within a few seconds you get an alarm here on the website. Can you can program when you turn it back off again, after five seconds, the alarm disappears again. Three, two, one, and gone. So for this, I didn't have to write any code. It's just a SQL query. Okay. And all the other, uh, you know, modules available in Azure will also just work because it's just JSON data, which is what all our cloud services support. Mm -hmm. Then the other big piece we have is we can actually control these devices from the cloud. So we initiate the connection from the device, so it's secure. We don't need any holes in any firewalls. Mm -hmm. And we can relay the data via IoT Hub and the field gateway back to the device. Okay. So what that looks like in practice is so this hair dryer, we're big into hair dryers at Microsoft. <laughs> um, this hair dryer is connected to this relay mm -hmm. and this machine that I have a connection from from the cloud. And I can turn the hair dryer on via the cloud. So if I make this true, the hair dryer turns on. We believe there's a great market for turning on hair dryers <laughs> over the internet. Um, and this obviously allows you to build dashboards for like if you have a wind turbine, you know, out at sea, you can now control that wind turbine from the comfort of your office rather than having to take a boat trip out to the wind turbine. Yes. So let's let's go and take a look at all the I'll just scan all the devices that we have here. Um, that are all integrating with OPC UA for which we have um, support in the cloud. So we have uh, devices by Mitsubishi, Omron, Certeg, Honeywell, 
Vekov, Kaidu Cup, C Labs, Microsoft, Festo, Siemens, Soft, I mean Softex, Siemens, SSV, Harting, Mernakan Reiner, Process OPC, Matricon OPC, Soft IMG. Unified Automation, the Automation Control, so everybody um, who's, uh, who has a name in the automation industry. And this is just a selection, obviously there are literally 37 million devices out there that speak OPC. Mm -hmm. This one down here is interesting because it's actually an adapter, right? So if your machine does not speak OPC yet, you can buy these adapters for 500 bucks and make your machine OPC compatible. Yes, and, and that's also true, by the way, for the, uh, the C-Labs factory relay here. Um, which is uh, similarly doing that. So, um, Eric was uh, just pulled. Oh, no, Sorry. you're not pulled. Wow, so what happened to you? What? All right, so thank you very much. You're welcome. For the guided tour. And uh, I hope uh, the people who are going to watch this are finding this interesting. I'm sure they will. Thank you very much. Bye. Cheers.